Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play The Legend of Neverland on PC using the amazing Blue Stacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install The Legend of Neverland and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play The Legend of Neverland. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to start we need to open our favorite browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because there's the link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. Once clicking on this link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play the legend of Neverland on our PC. It is now obvious that we get some advantages of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Legend of Neverland by clicking on the button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on that button. And the download step takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the executable file, so we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We have said yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installation software much better. The installer is uncomplicated. It contains two options, install and setup path. I will show you what setup path truly does. We simply click it. So we note that we have now here the path in which the emulator will be put in. If we prefer to change for better this directory we have to click on this browse option. So we choose another directory and set up the emulator where we desire. I am going to set it by default. Then I click on back. So I simply click install. Voila. The setup begins and it's going to go forward with the download of those MB which are shown on this computer screen. As you download it, it may be more or less MB. The download speed could go faster or slower, based on your type of access to the web and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Right now they are going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator happens to be started on autopilot. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will advance to the right when it attains the finish, the emulator will be started for the very first time. The truth is the emulator has been started, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you will notice, it made two icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon will be the one we are concerned with. At any time when we are planning to run the Legend of Neverland on the PC, we twice click on this particular software icon and as a result use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we conduct the following step, which is actually a must, and which is to log on to the Google Play Store. To do that we will go there to, System Apps, we click on and we'll just click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is started. Right here we have got to sign in. At this point once we're on this page, we must begin doing this following step that is definitely mandatory. So that we just click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It could occasionally get stuck in, checking info, and so it fails to advance. If that's the case, you may attempt to connect to your account after a few hours but it will surely most probably be solved. At this moment we're going to insert our username and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address and its matching password. For instance you can utilize the same exact email you are using at the moment in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to type in my data and I will come back immediately after I have done it. That's it, info typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and offering us their twos. We should say yes to them by simply pressing, I agree. Following, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You can also leave it selected and this will make a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you can utilize this feature if you like. We mouse click on accept. Google Play Store is started automatically and on autopilot. To install the app, we have got to get to the emulated desktop for Android by clicking on that app icon designated green colored. Right now that we are discovering the desktop of this Android emulator, we see that we come with right here the install app button. We mouse click on that button. There we have got the game app. How about we then click here on the install link that I'm just presenting now in green. And this will commence the software installation. Straight away it will download on your desktop or laptop and set up the Android game. It may take a little while or perhaps it could also be amazingly quickly. It all relies upon on our own connection to the internet. It has as of now finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing the button that I am highlighting in green so that you can run the legend of Neverland for the first time. I am by then on the emulator desktop, then we're going to simply click this brand new the legend of Neverland icon that was created. 
This game app is started for the first time on your device. There we get it, I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the volume level of this emulator. It is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we will turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is actually the first one. We mouse click on this software icon which I'm designating in green. And the monitor is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. In the event that we would like to launch the app using all the screen, we hit this particular application icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the game in 100% screen setting. To quit the complete screen mode, click the F11 key. And we might at present end up being in normal display setting. At present, I am choosing to clarify you the keys mapping that is quite enjoyable. That way we may be in a position to operate the game application more easily. The first task is to mouse click this keyboard icon. It's now time to get the recommended configurations. Let me let the standard configuration, however if you wish to improve that, you can achieve it without having problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is entirely in our own language. Occasionally it happens that your emulator is started in the erroneous language, for example, in Japanese. And then to place it in the proper language we go there to the cogwheel. Then there inside are many other settings, we just click on the, language, drop down. We may very well go with the language we need, English, Japanese, and so on. As soon as the language is determined, we would save, the emulator would reboot, and the game app, the next time we launch it, would of course be in the specified language. At this point, you can find another element that we have to take into account, and it's that we will get an email telling you that a new equipment has been associated with our own Google account. It will certainly ask us if we are the individuals who have associated with that device. Of course, we should not be troubled, because the emulator is simulating an Android tablet or smartphone. In order to find which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, choice. And now we learn that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that video user demo. I hope you enjoyed it, especially that everyone found it handy. In that case, bring in a superb like, subscribe, and any comments, issues or suggestions, put them in the comment box below. Simply click any of the videos that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and see you in the next video tutorials. Bye.